This is a 10 minute video article from RJ Lee Group's Materials Insights Collection. To read this article or other Materials Insights articles, go to rjlg.com, then on the top right, click on News and Insights. PTRMS Technology Proton Transfer Reaction Mass Spectrometer. Mass spectrometry is a critical component of many analytical techniques used for the identification and quantification of organic compounds in a wide variety of sample matrices from both environmental and industrial sources. The foundational principle is that individual chemical compounds have a known molecular weight that can be used to identify and quantify them. The physics behind the analytical methods are beyond the scope of this article, but it is typically necessary to add a charge or ionize to each molecule to allow for mass separation, detection, and quantification using a mass spectrometer. Analysis using a mass spectrometer commonly results in fragmentation of larger molecules into smaller ones, complicating the interpretation as the pattern of the fragmented masses needs to be identified and used towards the identification and quantification of the original larger molecules. The delicate nature of these analytical operations re requires that most mass spectrometers can only operate within the confines of a laboratory, analyzing discrete samples introduced into these instruments. The advent of PTRMS technology has addressed several of the limitations of laboratory benchtop units described above. PTRMS is a soft ionization mass spectrometer. Charge is added to each molecule using water, oxygen, or nitrogen oxide molecules, which suppress the fragmentation of the compounds, allowing for a more robust analysis of the mass spectrum. PTRMS is particularly adept at identification and measurement of volatile organic compounds, or VOCs, in the air. It can provide real-time, continuous measurement of multiple VOCs at ultra-trace levels. For example, in the parts per trillion, PPT, and low parts per billion, PPB range. A truck-mounted solution also gives the instrument mobility for environmental monitoring and sourcing investigations. The PTRMS has been used in many peer-reviewed studies for the detection of VOCs. Studies include ambient measurements for the investigation of the air quality of urban and suburban areas. The information that the PTRMS provides can be used in air quality source apportionment studies in order to gain insight of the sources of different air toxics such as tulene, xylene, benzene, biogenic compounds emitted by vegetation such as isoprene, monoterpenes, and sesquiterpenes, and other compounds such as acetaldehyde, formaldehyde, and acetone. Other studies have used the PTRMS for the detection of the emissions from different sources, such as biomass burning, cooking activities, and diesel exhaust. Other applications include the testing of emissions from materials, investigation of indoor air quality and vapor intrusion studies, and most recently the device was used for the breath analysis and identification of biomarkers of COVID-19 patients. The ability of real-time detection of VOCs makes the PTRMS the ideal instrument for these applications. So let's share a couple case studies here. Uh, first one, head space sampling. Due to its high sensitivity and low time resolution, the PTRMS is the perfect tool for head space sampling. RJ Lee Group has implemented the PTRMS in several head space projects for the detection of emissions from carbon black, canned food products, as well as products such as gloves and face masks. In a previous study, RJ Lee Group investigated the compounds emitted by a medical device. The device was placed in a testing Tedlar bag, which was filled with clean air. The PTRMS was used to monitor the VOC concentration inside the bag. 
After the device was turned on, the concentration of six compounds increased. After two hours of testing, compounds such as butadine and hexenes had reached a plateau at a concentration lower than 5 ppb. And you can kind of see this in the figure. The concentration of acetone, acetic acid, isoprene, and butene continued increasing during the whole testing period. And uh, case study two, field measurements, mobile applications. The PTRMS can also be used to study the air quality of an area. The combination of the PTRMS with RJ Lee Group's mobile laboratory can allow for temporal and spatial resolution air quality measurements. Our scientists have conducted numerous fence line monitoring and community air quality monitoring projects. In a recent study, we measured the ambient concentration of benzene in the greater area of Philadelphia. We were able to identify the high emitters and investigate their impact in the neighbor communities. And you can see in the second figure here the concentration of benzene in the greater Philadelphia area. The altitude and color of the series is proportional to the concentration of benzene. Uh, thanks for listening to our article. Uh, here is the citations for this article. The author is Antonios Tasoglu, a senior scientist at RJ Lee Group. And here are applicable RJ Lee Group services that you may be interested in. Uh, including indoor air quality testing, vapor intrusion studies, fence line monitoring, and, uh, and, and others. Thanks for listening today, and have a great day.